Hello everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at the all-new 2014 Skoda Octavia VRS. And today's review is taking place at DMG Motors Skoda and Seat, situated out in Clark in County Donegal. For all contact information in regards to this dealership, please see the description box below. So in today's review, we'll be looking at the interior of the car. I'll explain all the features work. We'll start up, look at the engine, go over the performance data and take a look around the exterior. So, let's get started. Carbon fibre trim. So those nice chrome door handles and electric mirrors which are also heated and four one-touch automatic windows full leather interior with black and red sports seats exclusive to the VRS as well as aluminium sport pedals This car only has 15 kilometers on the clock. It's really only after arriving at the dealership very recently. So to power on the vehicle, apply the clutch and turn the key. Fires right up. This car has a lateral mechanic power assisted steering. Very nice feedback. It's also got a very nicely perforated leather wrapped steering wheel with all your standard multifunction controls. So it's very nice black accenting, VRS logo, and very nice red stitching. Also comes with a touchscreen radio as standard. You get all your basic controls off to the side here. You need to select between radio, your media, which controls this plug-in here. And also you can pair your phone to the Bluetooth system. It's just going to search for a phone. And then you can go into the main setup for the car. You can go through the sound and screen setup, time and date settings and language settings and so on. Just scroll down. You can go back to the factory settings as well as go through your Bluetooth system information and your copyright notices. And of course you can completely adjust the sound as well. If you're pressing the car, you can go through the vehicle status. Right now it's telling me the car needs to uh, refuel. Go through a couple of different other menus as well air pressure monitoring system you can view the driving data as you can see here since start and the long term driving data and at the top of the screen you got your uh, time as well as the outside temperature meter reading on the right let me just click back into the radio you can change stations from here As you can see in setup, you can adjust all the basic things such as the traction control, tire pressure monitoring system, I believe is what this is. Yep. And your return button. Very easy to use system. And the sound quality from the radio is quite good as well. Christine Limerick, is it war films? Is it the five senses? Do they all use an organ as an instrument in the song? And down below here you've got your climb control with a very nice digital readout for both sides. It is of course dual zone. And just everything here, got your fan speeds in the middle, off and dual zone, automatic and air conditioning. As well as your different zone selection from here. And down here you got your trash control, your uh, start stop system and the central locking. So that's a nice handy storage area with rubber padding. The carbon fibre trim looks quite nice as well. As I said, it was on the door panels themselves. I like the way they also blend off into the centre console. And down here, you got this uh, removable ashtray, your cigarette lighter. You take these both out. There's two cup holders. And also, there's a very nice leather wrap uh, centre armrest. You pull that up. Nice deep storage area. 
and also if we look in the glove box you got your CD changer as well as a plug-in for the SD card and of course the glove box can be cooled using this dial here from the air conditioning the VRS comes to standard with a six-speed manual transmission there's close gear ratios very smooth shifting you can also have this car with the six-speed uh, DSG automatic gearbox and when you put it into reverse the sensors activate also that's a nice leather wrap e-brake and as you can see just about everything in this car has very nice red stitching on it the e-brake lever the shift boot itself and along the seats the seats themselves are sport buckets as I said but they are very comfortable and supportive as you can see they have an excellent amount of side bolt string very nice red accenting around the top of the headrest Auto dimming interior mirror, standard reading lamps, a sunglasses container. On the mirrors on both sides. And of course you got your truck computer here and you can just navigate through it using these buttons. Pretty much everything I was showing you uh, with the truck computer on the main screen displays up here. So you can go through just about everything. Uh, this means now you can operate the audio and your telephone and everything such as that without ever taking your eyes off the road. The interior of the VRS is a very nice place to be. Standard Skoda Octavia comes with a decent amount of equipment on it, but the VRS comes fully kitted. Easy to use radio, comfy seats. Really, really nice car. Of course, there is uh, a little bit of storage down here off to the right. This car also does have automatic lights, as well as rain sensing wipers. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back seats. There's a lot of legroom in the back of this car. Storage pockets in the back of each front seat and the headroom is very good as well. As well as the very nice red accenting and the VRS logo on the back seats. So it's a center mounted armrest and you can adjust these uh, two pieces here by lifting them out. So you can increase or decrease the size of the cup holder. And then we have a pass through into the boot. Your ventilation, and a small bit of storage. So we'll turn on the vehicle's power, as well as the headlights, pull out for the front and rear fog lights, turn on the hazards, and we'll take a look around the exterior. The VRS comes with its own variety of very unique colors. This particular one is called Race Blue. Looks really nice on the Octavia. And also as part of the VRS styling, the front grille has been completely blacked out. And it also has black wing mirror caps. Comes with halogen projector headlamps as standard with LED running daylights. Lower headlamp washers. Bonnet lines blend off very nicely into the badge and the front grille. VRS can also be had as an estate car. The suspension on the VRS has been lowered by a full 12 millimeters and compared to the standard Skoda Octavia. It also has a multi-link rear suspension with an independent McPherson suspension up front. 
It has front ventilated steel disc brakes as well as solid discs in the rear. The overall length of the new Octavia is 183.4 inches. It has a width of 71.4 inches with a total height of 57.6 inches. And the total wheelbase is 105.7 inches. The VRS also comes with these very nice 18 inch twin 5 spoke alloy wheels or red brake calipers. I've seen a red one of these uh, Octavia VRS's and it looks very nice in red as well. I think race blue was the most popular color for the Octavia VRS. Certainly stands out. It's got dual exhaust outlets on this side. And over on this side, they actually haven't put in any exhaust outlets, so this uh, little pipe here is actually a fake. You can also just see the rear parking sensors. Nice rear spoiler. Boot space is very good as well. It has 590 litres. And also because this is a lift back, as you can see the whole rear hatch lifts up. So there's much more accessibility into the boot itself. And the rear seats do fold in a split 60-40. And as well as pulling the handle, which I done, you can also release it alternatively just by pulling on this latch. Unfortunately, the rear seats don't fold completely flat and they do leave a small ledge behind. Also, has a 12 volt power outlet. LED indicators integrated into the exterior mirrors. And continue on into the inside just so the driver can see them. It's a very good looking car. I particularly like it in the race blue. You can get this car in a couple of mainstream colors like white and silver, but I think if you want to really stand out, blue and red are definitely the nicest colors to go for. So let's power on the VRS and see how it sounds. Release is located on the passenger side footwell. The engine is a 2 litre TDI turbo diesel. It produces 181 brake horsepower at a top speed of 144 miles per hour. It produces 
280 for plenty of torque. I can get 61 miles to the gallon. So just before we finish up the review, I should show you uh, where the cruise control is. It's something I forgot about earlier. It's uh, just located here on the indicator stock. You activate it using this button here. And you can use these buttons here off to the side to adjust your speed. The VRS is a really nice car, so it is. Underneath all the sporty flamboyant stuff that I was showing you earlier, it is just a normal Octavia. It's comfortable, it's spacious, it's very well equipped and it has a very good touch screen radio. Same kind of radio you know Volkswagen are using in the new Golf and indeed in the Skoda Superb. It's got climb control, it has sports seats which I've, as I said earlier are very nice as well, very comfy. It's got a lot of room in the back, lots of headroom and legroom, excellent size boot. And you can have this car with, of course, the 2.0-litre turbocharged petrol engine, of which I'll list the specs below. But basically, it's the same 2.0-litre uh, petrol engine that you find in the Golf GTA. It's a really very nice car. And as I said earlier, I do like it in this race blue in particular. It's got nice alloy wheels, and the red brake calipers also add to the overall theme of the VRS. And of course, it's got plenty of storage areas. I've also reviewed the uh, previous Skoda Octavia VRS, I'll put a link to that at the end of this video somewhere. You can click on that and check it out. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed this full on that tour of the all new 2014 Skoda Octavia VRS. Please remember to rate, comment and subscribe and please stay tuned, we'll play more videos to come. Thanks for watching everyone.